We are here with Beatrice Amuthenu, the local artist who travelled across Namibia with world-renowned graffiti artist Mo Stop. I haven't really done graffiti before. So I didn't think my skills were of a quality that he would choose me. Yeah. So him choosing me, that, that makes me think like, yeah, I do have quality. As an artist, where, before this experience, where would you say your strengths lie? The medium that I use is, uh, I usually do uh, cardboard printing and lino printing. So I always do s uh, small sketches and kind of relate to graffiti. So. And do you think that you'll be continuing graffiti after this? I think you should, especially with all the work that you've been doing with most of Yeah, I think I, I, will do, I, I will do more graffiti, so I just need maybe if somebody can give me a wall and because it's always good to ask for permission to work on somebody's wall. You're starting to sound like most I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that positivity, that's awesome. Now, as you ventured onto this journey, what were some of your expectations? Like that side of Swakop, most, most walls are just grey, there's no stone. But it's not much colorful so yeah. when we started painting uh, everybody really didn't want their world to be some didn't want but as, as we started painting and then they saw how colorful it was so yeah. some even came to me like no I also want my world to be painted after they saw that it, it looks really colorful yeah. Yeah. Do you think that more of Namibia needs neighborhoods like that? I think so, definitely, because we need some colorful stuff. People need to understand more about art and graffiti. What have you learned from this experience, personally? Usually I'm a quiet person, but I've learned to maybe connect with people and talk to people more and yeah. work with people and just sharing ideas with uh, everybody, you know. I think I should work with kids more because they are the younger ones that need to learn more and they are the future. After this week, which wall has been your favorite? I think all walls, they are great, but the one, uh, my favorite one is um, the one we did with Mo at the uh, uh, Tosha Lounge. Yeah? Uh, yeah, that one, because we worked together with him and that the whole planning when we planned that whole sketch out was yeah. awesome. What is the one life lesson that you've learned from Mo Star that you will keep with you for the rest of your life? Like he said, like, never think of money first. Always think of your work. Never think too much about people, what they think about me. It means just bringing people together, to me. bringing artists together. Like right now, we are working together as a, as a team. Teamwork, yeah. I've learned that one should always plan. Like Mo said, uh, have an image in your head and then transfer the image to the paper and from the paper to the wall. I'd actually like to know what would your message be to Namibian artists after this experience? Work together and just work as a teamwork and bring more colour to Namibia. Bring more colour to Namibia, I like, like Namibia it. is a very colourful place. Yes. Yeah. There's no other way to finish this off. Beatrice, thank you so much for taking the time. I think this wall looks amazing and thank you for being part of the journey of making Namibia a beautiful place. For more awesome stories, watch this space.